In this video, we will talk about how to change the sampling for a cycle using the Reset Exit tab on the list object. Let's begin with a brief look at how this experiment is set up. We have a stimulus slide here that has three different slide states, and each of these items references an attribute on our file name list. So if we click on the Sound Out object, you can see here that we have the file name before it, and then the item that it references, and then the file extension after. So that way, since our uh, different stimuli were named similarly, we can just put the word in here. In our block list, you can see that we have three rows, one for each slide state. Then we have the nested list that contains the file names. And there are 60 different names for each type of stimulus. If we go back to the block list, you can see that there are three samples for the list to select from, and each have a weight of one. If we look at the summary at the top, you can see that each cycle is only going to consist of three samples. If we want each participant to see all of the stimuli, we need to change this. So to change the sampling, we will open the Properties window for the list object, and then go to the Reset Exit tab. Here we will specify how many samples the list will use. Since there are 60 of each file type, we are going to change the exit list to 60 cycles. And this will use all 180 stimuli. You'll see that under Reset Sampling, it is still on three samples, meaning that in each cycle there will be an audio, text, and graphic stimulus presented. You can alter these settings to suit your needs depending on the experimental design. You can also adjust the selection in this tab to choose whether the block list, which selects the slide state to present, is randomized, counterbalanced, or sequential, etc. Remember that this selection tab will only change the block list. To alter the selection for the nested list, we would have to open it, go to its properties, and change the selection here. For more information on these topics, check out the videos on nested lists and list object property page.